Hello all. Um, I just thought I'd like to uh, invite you along to tag along on a just a short midnight cruise across the Tay Bridge. I'd be heading to the Leeby just short of uh, Tayport. Um, so you're, you cross the bridge, the Tay Bridge, heading into Fife, and then you you turn left at the circle, you go down onto the way, like a wee sort of, it's a short road and it goes onto the road between uh, Newport and Tayport. So the lay-by is just about a mile short of Tayport. Um, so I'm just going to go for a cruise there. I'll stop there and get some videos of the night lights. Uh, you'll see the, the outline of Dundee City you'll get the oil rigs um, and hopefully get the reflections of the lights off the river too. So I'll be driving across the bridge and then I'll record everything on the camcorder and then I'll come back across the bridge, record all that and then I'll go along the riverside drive and I'll get all that uh, footage and I'll hopefully get the, the, the lights and everything. So. Um, yeah, you're more than welcome to come along. It's just like, uh, it's not far off midnight, so it's nice and quiet, and it's a fairly clear night. Um, it's quite nice, actually, after a shift to go in, to just go to that lay-by and just watch the, the lights reflecting off the river too, and that. It's really, it's really um, quite soothing. So, yeah, you're welcome to come along. It's just a short cruise, midnight cruise. Okay, thanks for selecting my video. Cheers. Okay, um, what I'm doing is a voice audio. Um, I'm just going to sit back and relax, like what I hope you are doing. Um, just get yourself a cup of tea or whatever, put your feet up and just watch the, the cruise. So I've got to mention I'm setting off from the uh, Celestial Gardens, which is in the centre of the Dundee at the waterfront. So we're just heading along, and then we'll be coming to the Tay Bridge shortly. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice wee cruise across the bridge, and you know? I just thought I'd do that. I liked seeing all the lights. It was raining earlier, actually. But the roads now were uh, quite sort of reflective, so it emphasises the lights a lot more. Um, yeah, the buses will be finishing shortly. Actually, uh, that was a late shift that night, and I just basically parked up the the bus and then jumped in, into my car and went for a just an unwind cruise across the bridge to that lay-by so that's good when the traffic lights work they go, they go in your favour when the roads are quiet <laughs> they turn green for us so that's just making me into the bridge now yeah I just like to what we blether while I'm cruising along here with you um, if you've watched my other videos and that, you probably have heard me talking about the, you know, the supernatural and that, the Mandela effect and all that sort of stuff. I'm a true believer in that because I've experienced what you would call supernatural um, experiences, um, like the Mandela effect. Uh, if you haven't heard about it before, either on the videos or anything like that, the first thing I would say is, if you're interested, I would I would strongly suggest that you do your own research on it. Um, it's quite easy. If you go online and just Google up the Mandela effect, and then you'll get a lot of ver um, you'll get a lot of stuff online about it, and you can make your own mind up what you think of it. I mean. The phenomena is what I call it. I mean, I didn't name it the Mandela effect, but in a nutshell, it's where history has changed. 
um, but I won't go too much into that just now because it's not really a long enough video. <laughs> it's a big subject, it's a fascinating one, but uh, basically just, you could look at it like history has changed, but you won't really understand what I'm coming from unless you do a bit of background research, if you're interested that is. Do you, uh, your own research on it first and then make your own mind up. I mean, I've experienced it first hand, so I know that there's something happening. But I went online and done research and I found out the phenomena that resembles something that I've experienced uh, called the Mandela Effect. I mean, I've had my own personal experiences, like, for example, um, oh, there's lots of them. Um, some of the ones online I could relate to, others I can't. You wouldn't know either way, but the ones that I've come across is the Monifeet Standing Stones. There's a uh, down at uh, Marina Drive, I think it's called. It's near the beach at Monifeet. There's six standing stones that have appeared there. They weren't there before, but I've checked back. I researched online, went back on Google Maps, the early ones, and sure enough they were there. But I was there much more, um, you know, I've been there before and if, there's no way I could have missed them. So, well, this is just on that road heading to Teapot now. Uh, we don't actually go into Teapot, the lay is just on the left. For um, It's a nice wee... Uh, stopping point if you want to get a view across the River Tay and that. But, yeah, the Mandela Effect, and I'm a true believer in it because I've experienced it first hand. Um, there's lots of things that are just really bizarre lately. I mean, the, the speed up of time is one of them. I, mean, I don't just mean that time sped up because I'm getting older. I mean, it's genuinely sped up. And, uh, such a thing as like coincidence, well, coincidence is just, some of them are just more than coincidences, like synchronicity, and uh, I believe in that because it's just more, it's just, there's been far too many uh, mega coincidences, if you like, and I'll give you an example. I was at Edinburgh. I went to Edinburgh about th oh, four years ago. I've been to Edinburgh a few times, but four years ago I went through with a rucksack and basically I had worn out. I needed to replace it there and then. So I went into a shop randomly, a random shop in um, Ocean Terminal, and I bought the rucksack. I didn't really pay attention to the make or anything like that. I just bought one that would work and fit, you know, the, it was suitable, at a price you can afford. So I bought that rock, so it lasted uh, right up until the, just recently, two, oh, two months ago maybe, um, I went through to Edinburgh with that rock sack and I took a pal with us. Uh, now I've known my mate for you know, decades, but I haven't been to Edinburgh with him before. And this was the first time I'd been to Edinburgh with him. And I took the rock sack that I'd bought prior, uh, that I bought from Edinburgh at Ocean Terminal, years before. And coincidentally, the rock sack wore out. Again, in Edinburgh. Um, and I needed to urgently replace one. So I went into a shop, random shop, and picked up a random rock sack that would, you know, fulfil the needs that I needed, um, at a price I could afford. And it wasn't until just a wee bit later, that day that I looked closer at the make. And the make resembled, it sounded very much in it sounded very much like my mate's surname and it was spelt very similar to my mate uh, his surname it was just incredible I didn't plan that it was just bought I didn't really look at the makes or anything like that I just bought it randomly so it's just more than a coincidence that oh by the way what's happening here is I'm just driving down the road a wee bit there's uh, and just basically turning the car so that the getting the dash cam view of Dundee with the uh, lights reflecting off the River Tay. But what the clip you'll see next, after this dash cam footage, you'll see the camcorder footage that I took at that lay-by that I just stopped it. 
just a stone throw away from here. So you'll see that camcorder footage, and then once you've saw that, you'll then pick up from where you left off on the dash cam footage, which is here. So you'll get the camcorder footage at the lay-by, just that it passed. And then once you've saw that, that will pick up the dash cam footage from here, from this point here. And then that will be the recording back to Dundee going over the um, the Tay Bridge and the Riverside. Okay, so you'll get the camcorder footage now. Okay, cheers. Right, so <clears throat> you would have seen the camcorder footage just moments ago. That was taken just at the lay-by that I turned. Uh, this, where I am right now in the car, is just a stone not that far from the lay-by. I was hoping to get better photos here. I think I've got stills. I might have to look back on that. Um, yeah, so we're just heading back to Dundee now. And hopefully you get a view of the, the Dundee city in the background. It's quite nice when it's little. But I'm going to get myself, uh, well, in the future, I'm going to save up and get something a bit more sensitive for the the night sky. I'd like to do some um, filming of the, the moon and the stars, etc. Uh, I mean, the stuff of the equipment I'm using just now. It's okay, but it's not really sensitive enough to pick up, you know, stars and stuff, night sky, the glow um, of the sun and the cosmic light. It's not really powerful enough for that. So I might have to, I'd love to do that, so I'm going to have to um, save up and um, get something just a bit more suited for that. Um, so I'll just come up for the day bridge now. What I've got to do is keep this audio in sync, so I'm going to have to, <laughs> I've got to uh, use it as a reference every now and then just so I could get this to keep in sync. Yeah, so. yeah, it's quite nice, uh, I like the way the, you can see the lights are flying off the, the, water, off the, 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 the wet roads, you know, the, it's kind of like a sparkling colour. That's just the dash cam, but I'm going to try and get something that's... I'd love to get the camera fitted on the outside of the car as well. Get some of these shots. Uh, but yeah, where was I? I was on about some of the paranormal stuff, because um, I've genuinely experienced it. Uh, the Mandela effect, there's another... I mean, there's loads of them, but there's some examples that I could really relate to. Uh, like, for example, McDonald's. It was always called McDonald's for me, but now it's changed to McDonald's. So it's just MC and then Donald's, but before it was McDonald's. But if you look back at the history, you'll find it's never been called McDonald's. It was always called McDonald's. But yet, they call the Big Mac, no, the Big Mac. So, well, that's not the reason that I'm not just using that. It's just that I remember it being McDonald's as well. Um, there's loads of stuff. Oh, so much. I get talk for a, forever on it, but I don't really want to. I'm just chilling out at the moment here anyway, looking at this video at the same time while I'm doing the voiceover. 
Um, that's great, just cruising the nights and that. You know, it gives you a chance to unwind. No traffic on the roads. Well, very little. <laughs> There's a lot of things that, you know, the, the, um, I was on the shift, I was working, I was, I was at a bus, I, pulled, I stopped at a bus stop in the, in the town, I'm not going to say any specific details, but it was, it was like, um, it's just things, things that happen in life in general, but I just witnessed a situation where an old person was uh, making their way for the um, for the bus and to me it was accidental he oh well he accidentally kicked the homeless person's money in the like a jar where the money is kept in and Oh, I remember flashing at that bus. <laughs> he had his lights up, that's what it was. He didn't have his exterior lights on. <laughs> I remember that now. Oh, on the video, I'm looking at it. But yeah, the, the, old, yeah, the old guy, um, he accidentally, as far as I'm concerned, he accidentally, because he was in a rush to get to catch my bus, he kicked the... I don't think, well, he didn't know that he kicked like a plastic tub with coins in it for the the beggar. And he'd actually thought that he dropped money himself. The old guy thought he dropped his own money. So he heard the money clattering on the ground as he, you know, kicked the, the tub. So he picked up the coins. And unbeknown to him, that the coins that he was picking, he thought that he dropped coins himself. So he didn't realise that he'd kicked the tub with the beggar's money in it. So he picked up the coins, the beggar thought, I presume the beggar thought that he was, you know, picking up the coins to put it back in his tub, you know, because he accidentally kicked it. But the old guy picked the coins up and then he made his way for the bus. <laughs> he actually took the money, unbeknown to him, that it was the, the beggar's money. So the beggar... You know, he shouted, oi. <laughs> He'd be shouting at you, take my money. And the old guy was, like, startled. He didn't realise. You know, he thought he'd dropped the money. He had money clattering. He thought he, because he was running, a, he was rushing to get my bus, he, he thought that um, he dropped coins. But he'd actually accidentally, because he was, presumably he was old, he, never, he, he probably had never heard it. Or he just accidentally kicked the, the tub that was in the way and... Um, you know, but situations like that. What my point is is that misunderstandings, you know, uh, life's full of them. You know, it, it's like people misunderstand and misread situations. We all do it, but it's not. I don't. I never blame people. I, I don't blame people for any. I, I, I just think that we're all in this sort of uh, like a kind of mind-conditioned way of doing things you know we use languages to express ourselves but words don't really give you full expression they only give so much and the rest is just open to in other words when you're trying to really something over to somebody that idea you've got in your head it doesn't words don't really give you the full picture, they only give you part of the definition of the idea that you're trying to really over. So that leaves everything, it leaves it open for uh, misunderstanding. And it would just be great if you could, well we could, I believe we could do just anything we want, but we just don't believe we could do it because we've been um, well, conditioned to, well, to believe that we don't, that we can't, that we have to depend on other things to get by. Uh, but if we could like understand each other through mind control, mind reading rather, like telepathy is one thing. I mean, if we get the full picture, we knew what we're coming from. But we have to find out more 
what, what, what would you know there's more to it just what words say like that was a classic misunderstanding but I mean I, I don't believe that he done it intentionally it was just an accident it was just things like that happen it's catch 22 situations oh right here we are but at the um I'm here already <laughs> Oh well, that was a uh, went in pretty quick. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the. Um, that was just a short cruise, basically. Uh, and uh, well, thanks for watching. <laughs>